new capes, Liberty Day inbound, and more. All in today's video, guys, so grab a hot cup of Liberty, and let's dive right into the video. To start off with, there are many people hyping up Liberty Day. There's a lot of positivity around this at the moment, since it will most likely bring a major event our way. Could bring new enemies, missions, and possibly the Illuminate, but I do think we are jumping ahead of ourselves at the moment. There is somebody who's getting really, really hyped up about Liberty Day. Saviour of the free, we are hyping up Liberty Day and the Illuminate are the biggest party poopers, so they're obviously going to crash it like the party poopers they are. Such party poopers, don't you agree? That the Illuminate are real party poopers. I can't believe the Illuminate would do such a thing. Attack on Liberty Day, absolute party poopers. I mean, it is possible, it sure is, but with Arrowhead's previous track records, I don't think so, but I really want to believe so. I, I really do. Of course, this was a joke. Could it happen? Maybe. But B Vitamin did say this though. Speculation. Yes, speculation. This is getting me really hyped up because the Illuminates have been around for ages. They've been leaked for literally God knows how long now. And we want them in the game. Halloween is coming up. Yeah, Halloween is coming up. And at the same time, Liberty Day is coming up. So something major is around the corner. Something major is literally around the corner. So yes, take this with a pinch of salt guys but i will be attending liberty day for sure because of the free liberty yeah yeah, yeah the, the free liberty apparently there is going to be upcoming changes to the galactic war map as well twin beard confirms all of this which is great to hear we cannot see the defense rates as of now on the planets but that information will be available down the road even in troops for those of you asking about having more details about decay, liberation and defense rate, etc. Available and slash or shown on the Galactic War map, we know. As we've said before, what you're seeing now is not the final state of the map. There will be more information available. It will be improved in increments. We're still looking for a second Game Master to help Joel out. Once we get that, I hope we can make quicker progress in some areas. If you don't know, we mentioned in a previous video that the studio are looking for a new Game Master to help Joel out for many things such as the Galactic War map and new features. Because we all like new content. Yeah, new content. Illuminate soon, please. They have not got this sorted yet, though, since the job is still up on their site. So maybe they will find someone soon. This is great news though since it would speed up the progress to help introduce more content and get things flowing our way much faster than they already are. I mean now the whole shenanigans with the balancing is out the way, hopefully that won't ever happen again, please no. We can expect the team to be crafting, working on great stuff to come, Halloween is coming up so maybe they have something spooky up their sleeves you know, something spooky. Now on to the democracy station because B Vitamin Vitamin told us some huge news that this is a new gameplay feature. Maybe it won't just be a voting station, but we could probably call down some heavy artillery to help us. My mind is definitely going places. It probably is just literally just a you know a democracy station. But um yeah, there may be something else, you know, up there, Steve, we don't know about. Yes, it is a new gameplay feature that we're introducing into the game by having players complete in-game events in order to construct it. What do you think this gameplay feature will be? Will it just be the voting system, or do you think this democracy station will be something more like a weapon of mass destruction? Am I going too far? Probably am, I probably am going way too far. Now, if you remember after blowing up Meridia, we were sent back to Super Earth. Now, I'd love to see an in-game event, something major, where you can go down to Super Earth, maybe a small segment of the map to interact with players, NPCs, maybe to speak to General Brash. Something like Destiny, you know, a community hub. You can go to different people to get orders, gear, something like that. But I do not think we would ever see this in game. If anything, it would be way later down the line. I mean, that's almost like a community hub, a whole new section of the game. But hey, us Helldivers can dream, okay? We can dream. Now for Liberty Day, there are rumors we will get the new bolt action rifle and maybe a classic armor set, possibly for a war bond. This was by Asunder Knights. There is four different images here showing a classic Helldivers one armor set, which does look pretty neat. 
I'd rock it for sure. I actually like this more than the default ones we get in game at the moment. So this post stated, the Helldivers want armor which is expected to release for Liberty Day. Description, this classic armor set is recognized by every citizen, worn by the heroic Helldivers. So this leak is just a rumor as of now. However, as you know, the leakers and data miners are very accurate, so I have faith for sure. This leads on to my next part because there has been a lot of people who have been saying the exact same thing, but there has been nothing officially confirmed yet, so don't get too hyped up. This guy's pretty much said that they are potentially speaking about a new war bond coming on Liberty Day, but the community manager has confirmed that there is not anything really officially as of yet. We haven't said anything about when another war bond is coming. It would be cool to get something fresh so soon. However, don't you want something more than just a war bond? Maybe a major event to happen for Liberty Day that introduces more mission types, enemies, just something big, you know. I know I do, and if you're watching this video, I know you do too. Regardless of what we will get, a major event is likely to happen anyway. Liberty Day is a holiday of Super Earth and is celebrated every 26th of October by the game's developers, Arrowhead Game Studios and its fan base alike. Historically, Arrowhead Game Studios has published an official blog post each year recognizing Liberty Day and has been known to hold interactive events such as live streams, contests, giveaways, and an Ask Me Anything thread. So yes guys, are you excited for Liberty Day? Because I sure am. Before we move any further, I just want to show a clip real quickly. This is to do with the ragdolling. Um, yeah, it still needs work. Just, just watch this. <laughs> just literally watch this. Now on to the major order because we have a new one. We are even closer now to building the democracy station. The new major order says we have to hold the designated planet against three attacks to defend the construction of the Deep Mantle Forge complex. And if you go to the planet, it says this. I interrupt this video to say, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe for Manage Democracy. No, not manage communism. Go away, Vlad. No one wants you here, Vlad. Go away. Yeah, go away. You'll also save a child's life from the automatons, so win-win. Smelters and refiners on this planet turn crude materials into usable hardware. Currently, there are 23,000 Helldivers, so I'm sure we will conquer this one easy peasy. So make sure you Helldive tonight, and maybe I will see you on the battlefield, and we can have a nice cup of liberty. Now the store doesn't have anything new from what I can see. Unless you have not got this awesome helmet, then I recommend you get it. But yes, nothing really new as of yet. Moving forward, we are going to be talking about the anti-tank mines because apparently they are getting some major changes. For the next patch or a future patch, as it stands, the anti-tank mines triggers for small enemies and hell divers alike. So the support team member Misty replied to a member on the Discord saying this. They do more damage, but still trigger with small units or hell divers but we are looking into that now. So that is going to be a huge change they are looking into. And I like it. It should not trigger for smaller enemies, really. Since mines that large normally need a lot of pressure and weight onto them before they trigger. I mean, I'm no military man, but um, yeah, I'm very certain that is right, okay? If it isn't, correct me in the comments, but I'm very certain that is right. Unless you're some, you know, fat hell diver who's eaten way too many burgers or drank too much Liberty, like me then the mines should not trigger. You know, I don't want to discriminate anyone, but you know, there's possibly some hell divers out there that, um, you know, weigh a, weigh a bit of a ton. Moving on to the capes. Yes, because there has been some dope cape designs floating around recently. You may have seen them, you may have not, but they appeared in the Helldivers 2 Facebook group. The first one covers half of your body, and out of all the ones I'm about to show, this one is my favorite out of all of them. It definitely gives me Star Wars vibes for some reason, and I'm loving it. Really, really loving it. I mean, it's my favorite one out of all of them so far. The second is kind of a weird one. It's just over your shoulder slightly. I would not say it's one I really like, 
but it's still cool and I mean if these could be customised in the future with our own colour emblems I think they would eventually become more appealing like having a small white cape over your shoulder in a complete dark black armor set the third one is more like a neck scarf or a bandana that's the best way to put it fourth looks more like a coat or a poncho i like it would be cool for the snow planets honestly the fifth one is some weird like triangular shaped cape honestly it's, it's kind of a weird one i'm not too sure on this one but they are really well put together the last one is definitely more star wars like I would not call it a cape though, but it's still really, really cool. What do you think of these cape designs? Would you rock any of them? Let me know in the comments because I sure would. And if so, which one would you rock? Out of all of them, these three appeal to me the most. If Arrowhead added anything like this with a customization feature in the future, especially since the clan system is coming soon, we could definitely see more customizable features on the horizon before we move on to the last part i'm going to show a clip from last night when i played i found it pretty funny basically my teammate got stuck behind the door yes a door why do you need help i mean why do you need help i mean what, what's going on what's going on how the hell did you get behind there what the hell <laughs> what the frick man how, how the hell did you get behind there what the hell's going on man there's so many explosions there's so many explosions uh, but I don't know what to hit, do here, guys. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to do here. It's striders. What, what do I do? Um, I can try and kill you. Um, I, you can't hear me, but I can try and kill you. Do you want me to kill you? Yeah, do you want me to kill you? Oh, God's sake. So many explosions. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, though. Am I going to be able to even help you, bro? <laughs> I mean, I can try and kill you. Hold on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yeah, I got it. I got it. Yes, I got it. That I died just in time, what the hell, I died just in time. Now onto the community comments, yes, because managed democracy has to prevail on YouTube. Frog says, minigun sickle is the best idea I've ever heard. Yes, honestly, a minigun sickle, three barrels put together, I would literally pay for that, okay? That's a bit extreme, but I would literally pay for that. Squirrel says, bro, triple sickle would butter my biscuits. It would butter a lot of people's biscuits, bro. Literally. Griffos, if that's how you say it, Griffos. I think Helldivers should stay politically neutral, as all video games should. Does your character's beliefs affect anything in game? No, just make that your own little headcanon. I completely agree. I don't think games should go down the political route because uh, once you do, then it just divides people. Look at Concord, look at Saints Row, and look at Ubisoft, okay? Look at Ubisoft. That is a perfect example of, um, yeah, a company just going downhill because all they seem to do is just push their political agendas on everybody. Hopefully, Weapon Lab will be in the democracy station. They don't look like communists. They look like Nazis. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, pretty much pretty much the same thing mad wolf says love your videos man definitely checking out your skateboard designs and got to pick up a shirt or two appreciate that bro appreciate it dearly zenu if that's a say zenu says you should have more subs your videos are always quality concise and informative i appreciate it again bro i really appreciate that honestly i really appreciate that clumsy says the ragdoll is still very crazy my only issue is all the limb damage you're getting now i completely agree the ragdoll is still absolutely mad bro i still get sent halfway across the map and at the same time your name clumsy yeah, it kind of makes sense, you know, the irony, clumsy, ragdolling, you know, falling, falling everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. I am always grateful for your time, Helldivers. Now go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy, and I will see you in the next video.